Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to our rail tutorial series. In this video we'll look at how we can make two different movements happen at the same time on two different entities, which is really cool, can get some really cool movement coming from that. So, we've got a blank canvas to work on and what we'll do is we'll place down our first direction of movement, which is just going to be that movement there. Now, what we'll do is we're actually going to grab a flip-flop and just hook up so we are able to do the change um, before we do our next one. So our flip-flop is going to be on and we're going to put our direction that we want to start with on there. And we'll go and hook that up to all those. And then, like usual, we'll grab our knot, drop it down. And with the knot, we're going to select the knot. And with the rail basic, we're just going to put a rail down so that we go back in the opposite direction. Like so. So now we can grab our entity and dock it till it gets to the end. Now for this second movement, what I might want to do is actually go up. Like so. Which is really cool. You can imagine this is going to be like a diagonally moving platform. And again, we're going to grab our combination of our flip flop and we'll do the knot like that. So we'll switch that on and join them up. Now we'll grab our flip flop and again we'll drop down the direction we're currently going. Like so. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll grab the knot, spin it around. So that we now choosing that we want to go in the opposite direction when we toggle our flip flop, same as the other one, like so. So now we have two entities set up, and what we'll do is we'll actually grab our wireless block. Wireless block will just pop up the side here. We can put a light up here, Ooh. so we can light up exactly what we're doing. Now the wireless block will grab. And we're just going to hook it straight into the flip-flop. So now anything that wireless gets, a high signal is going to toggle and it will toggle this. Which is exactly what we want. Now what we'll do is we'll grab how... Um, uh, create another ship. Let's spin it around. And we want to create our little spot that will then dock to our second one. So we'll spin it around until it's pointing up, like so. So you see we're facing forward, it's up, and we can use that to then grab and dock to this second one. So not over here, but over here. And there we go. We've now docked. Now the reason I put it underneath instead of above the core is because this goes all the way to the floor. So I want to make sure it goes all the way to the floor. And now what we can do is we can, I don't know, make a nice pretty little platform that we work on. Like so, and it might have a step down. Because who doesn't like a step down? And in here, we can just add a wireless block and put a button on top. So we're going to grab the button on top, hit C on it, and hit V on our wireless block. So that gives us a little bit of control. And because we want to demonstrate this, we're also going to throw down a gravity module, just so we can see what we're doing. Alright, so that's set up. Maybe we'll go in there and put a light on the top, just so we can see what we're doing. Um, so now we have this one set up that one set up. Now the only other thing that we need to do is actually grab a wireless logic module and drop it over here. So this wireless logic module is going to go into the flip-flop but we're also going to select it and put it into this one over here by pushing V. And then we're going to select this one over here, hit C and put it into this one by hitting V. So now all three are linked up. 
So that's what happens when your hard drive fills up from videos all day um, in the middle of a video. So we've had to restart it, but we're all good now. One other thing we've had to do is we've taken this wireless block and put it into this one here. So if I hit V on it, you'll see it disconnect, and then I connect it again. And I realize that we actually can't daisy chain. We actually need to um, then create another wireless logic block that this one goes into that then hooks up to this one up here. So you can see disconnect and connected. Um, so we can connect back to between each other, but they can't connect to new ones. Um, which is unfortunate, but okay, whatever. All right, so now we're standing on the platform and we'll push the button and you can see we're moving down and forward, which is really cool. So we've reached the end there, we can jump off, we can jump on. You can see now we've got that directional movement happening. So I'll jump out of the gravity. Ooh, I'm being crushed by my own creation. This must be how Frankenstein feels. Alright, now we can fly. So you can see we've got those two, and when we hit go, oop, when we hit go, they move up, like so, which is really cool. Look at that. So we've got that movement, and we're able to build a platform. That goes. Now, one thing we could do, just to demonstrate, is actually extend this one out. And what I want to do is jump into the build block. And be able to do that. So we'll extend this out. You can see we go a lot further. And we need to select the other one just to make sure that we change it the other way. Otherwise, we won't be going anywhere. Um, and then we'll fly up and push the button. And you can see we'll slide down and hit the bottom, we're at the bottom of this rail, but the other rail continues moving. Which is okay, we can don't need to match the lengths of them in any way. So there we go. There's our little elevator sort of thing with two different degrees of motion. You can imagine if we had other motions going on, we could do that as well. But for now, my name is Bench, and thanks for watching.